So we're here with Dr. Anderson. We're talking about restoring broken relationships. And I'll cut to the chase. Psalm 105 verse 4 says, Seek the Lord and His strength and His presence continually. What does that have to do with it? <laughs> it has everything to do with it. Uh, we worship God and we know He's omnipresent, but we don't always sense His presence. And, and, and I want to highlight what I'm saying due to my wife because she's been my companion for 50 years and read all my stuff and whatever. And uh, she would say years ago, earth to deal, earth to deal, you're out in your garden again. And somehow or another, she could always discern when I was present physically, but absent in spirit. And we'd wake up at night, she'd turn your brain off, Anderson. And how'd she know after <laughs> writing that chapter in my book? You know? and, uh, and now I'm sitting by uh, my wife who is dying with dementia. And uh, about uh, a year ago, uh, I started to sense the presence of God in a way I have never, ever experienced it before. And my total peace with that. And um, loving my wife now as Christ loved the church. Unfortunately, uh, we don't always experience the fullness of what it means to be in communion with God and with each other. And, uh, and, and there's such a tragedy. A lot of what we call communion or, or Eucharist at church is falling far short of what it means to be fully in the presence of God. Uh, I've discovered during this time that I don't have to do in order to be in God's will. And I'm not talking about an activity or a place. I'm talking about a mingling together of two personalities in a way that words don't even need to be said. You can just look at another person and you've said it all. Mm. And the only thing right now that will bring any relief or joy to my wife is for me to just be there. Wow. And I have found myself such a profound peace in that that I wouldn't exchange it for anything. People feel sorry for me because taking care of somebody with agitated dementia uh, can be a, an exhausting experience. And I suppose in a way it is kind of physically exhausting. But it isn't for me because I am right now experiencing the peace of God. And I owe so much to my wife to teach me what that really truly means to, to be in the presence of God and the presence of each other. Wow. Uh, now you know, again, why we love Dr. Anderson so much. 